So the Environmental Protection Agency is taking some steps now to make your drinking water a little safer. Today, the agency officials announced new standards to regulate what are called PFAS levels. So PFAS and man-made are man-made chemicals that are linked to health issues like high cholesterol and some types of cancer too. As WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian shares, these chemicals can take centuries to break down. Ohioans shouldn't have to worry about drinking PFAS contaminated water when they go to the tap to get a glass of water for themselves or their children. It's the goal of these new EPA regulations. Reduce how much PFAS is in this water. Tests have detected PFAS in some public drinking water in the tri-state. At the Charles Bolton Water Treatment Plant in Cincinnati, the most recent testing from November of 2023 shows levels that are higher than the new standards set by the EPA. PFAS are man-made chemicals used in consumer products like water-resistant clothing, nonstick cookware, and firefighting foam. They're often called forever chemicals because they can take centuries to break down. And the CDC says PFAS has been linked to health issues like high cholesterol and some types of cancer. So environmental advocates are celebrating Wednesday's EPA announcement. I think it's a huge step forward for public health protection in this country. Public water systems will have three years to complete initial monitoring, and they'll have until 2029 to implement solutions to reduce PFAS levels. The EPA says over time, the new regulations will prevent thousands of deaths, serious illnesses, and developmental impacts in children. What's gonna be really important moving forward is making sure that the costs of implementing all of this um, are actually able to be absorbed by the folks. That's part of the EPA's announcement too. One billion dollars will be available to help states implement testing and treatment. Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News. There is a QR code on your screen right now. If you take your smartphone and you hold up your camera to it, it'll take you to our website where you can see the latest PFOS level data for where you live.